But do you guys know why the girls give the guys chocolates in Japan? Hey guys, welcome to the Japan. It's February 14th, Valentine's Day. I thought I would take this opportunity to talk to you guys about what Valentine's Day in Japan is like and how it may be different than the Valentine's Day that you guys are familiar with. Let me start by telling you guys a little bit about Valentine's Day history in Japan. The concept of Valentine's Day was introduced to Japan by a chocolate company in Kobe in the 1930s who made an advertisement urging people to buy chocolates for their loved ones. But it wasn't until the 1950s, 15 years later, that other chocolate companies began similar marketing campaigns. And what really established Valentine's Day as a nationwide event in Japan was the chocolate fairs organized by the department stores in the 1960s. As you saw with my video on the Ehomaki, the Lucky Direction rolls that we eat for spring, department stores play a huge role in setting trends in Japan. We still have these chocolate fairs today, and oh my gosh, the chocolates get crazier and crazier every year. One of the biggest differences between Valentine's Day in Japan and in the States is that in Japan, the girls give the guys chocolate as a confession of their love or crush. I think this difference is pretty well known, but do you guys know why the girls give the guys chocolates in Japan? Let's give it some thought. It was the 1960s and 1970s when Valentine's Day really started to catch on in Japan. What was going on in the US at that time? The second wave of the feminist movement. The feminist movement in the US influenced a lot of women in Japan to start taking initiative and to take stronger hold on the reins in their romantic relationships. With this trend and the fact that it was more of the women that shopped at the department stores, it just made sense to target them to buy the chocolates for the men. Wait a minute, I thought Japanese women gave homemade chocolates to the men. Nope, not at first anyway. After all, Valentine's Day was introduced to Japan by chocolate companies trying to sell boxes of chocolates. I couldn't find any information on when or why homemade chocolates became a trend at one point, but I'm assuming the sales of chocolate making kits had something to do with it. Also, I bet that women's magazines had articles recommending homemade as a way to express true love. It is in our Japanese nature to value effort after all. I should mention that nowadays it's said that homemade is a bit too much to give to a crush, so store bought is the way to go for single ladies. And only girls in steady relationships should make homemade chocolate to give to their boyfriends. Perhaps the chocolate making kits had shitty profit margins. In recent years though, Valentine's Day is no longer just about girls confessing their crush to the guy they've been staring at in the classroom or in the office for the last six months, but more just about giving and getting lots of chocolates. Back in the day, Valentine's chocolates could either be categorized as giri choco or homemade choco. Giri means obligation or by duty. So giri choco means chocolates you give to a teacher, a boss, someone you feel like you should give chocolates to. Homme means favorite or best candidate. So homme choco is the chocolate you give to that special someone. In the past few years, new categories have been added. Fami choco, chocolates you give to your family members. Tomo choco, chocolates you give to your friends. Mai choco, chocolates you give yourself which can also be called jiko choco or gohobi choco, gohobi meaning treat. Also sewa choco, which are chocolates you give to someone that took care of you or that treated you well. And gyaku choco, gyaku meaning opposite, chocolates that guys give to girls. Basically, the chocolate companies have made Valentine's Day into an event where everyone buys chocolate. So it might seem like Valentine's Day in Japan is becoming more and more similar to the Valentine's Day in the US where giving chocolates or a Valentine's Day card doesn't necessarily imply romantic feelings, 
But in the States, it's still a special event for lovers, evidenced by the 220 million roses that are produced for the event each year and the $4 billion spent on jewelry every year. In Japan, on the other hand, it's really starting to become all about the chocolates. But when you think about it, it makes sense because in Japan, we already have an event for lovers. It's Christmas. That's when all the fancy dinners and all the jewelry buying takes place in this country. I'd feel bad for Japanese men if they had to deal with two events like that on top of anniversaries and birthdays. I hope this video helped you to understand what Valentine's Day is like in Japan and how traditions have changed over time. Let me know how you guys celebrate Valentine's Day in your country. I only know about the US and Japan, so I'm curious to know how it's celebrated in other parts of the world. Does the girl give the guy chocolates? Does the guy give the girls chocolates? Do you guys even have Valentine's Day? Do you give chocolates to everyone? Let me know how you celebrate Valentine's Day in your country.